Hey, what is up guys? It is Alex and we are back with another banger video for you guys today I'm sorry for not uploading for so long. I was taking a break But we got a banger video for you guys today at the helm. We have Dan Marino We got Robbie Anderson out wide and we got Andrew and James So we got a ton of LTDs here and we're gonna be doing a gameplay with them So if you guys do enjoy this video Make sure you smash that like button and show me that you guys want more gameplays and all of that. So I hope you guys do enjoy. But I'm before the gameplay starts. If you guys want, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that sub button, if you're new, we are on the road to a thousand subs. We are getting closing in, so it'd be greatly appreciated if y'all did. But once again, what we have on Robbie Anderson is we have Double Me, Grab and Go, and Route Tech, and then on Dan Marino, we have. Uh, Omaha recuperation so he doesn't get tired and keeps his gunslinger the whole time and then we also have hot route master and for his stats we currently have 66 speed with their all his throwing stats everything looks good except for throw on the run that doesn't look all that great but he's pretty much a pocket quarterback so that's reasonable and for Robbie Anderson here are his stats he's not powered up so he's not going to be as good he's 97 speed with 99 short and mid route running and 96 deep route running so he's an absolute beast y'all and then for the final one I'll show you Edrian James this guy is an absolute monster guys 99 speed 99 excel 98 break tackle 95 change of direction 94 trucking with a 94 spin move and 96 juke so before the gameplay starts i'm going to show the clips of me pulling dan marino and robbie anderson yes i pulled both of them no i did not pull edrin but i did get him but we'll get straight into those clips and then right into the gameplay Okay, y'all, here is the clip of me pulling Robbie Anderson. I was opening some training variety packs, and I see that animation. I'm just like, that's a dub. And then here's me this morning opening some more training variety packs, and we end up pulling the man, Dan Marino. Okay, so let's jump into the gameplay now. You guys see, there's my top three, and there is my opponent's top three. It looks like he has a Niners theme team. Luckily, we do start out on offense, so we can showcase our players as Edrin gets the ball to start off the game with a nice little juke, and we get about 15 yards to start off the game. Next play, we decide, you know what, we're going to pass the ball this play. We're going to see if we can hit him with a bomb. And we see Robbie Anderson not really covered by anyone. Throws a great pass by Dan Marino, and we get down to the 20-yard line. So here, we decide to pass again. We see he's sitting in about the same coverage, and we see Robbie Anderson beat his man over the top, and we hit him in the end zone. A three-play drive to score a touchdown. That's how we like to start. And my opponent here is on offense now let's see what he's gonna do he is sitting on a third and 18 currently and gets sacked so that forces him to punt the ball because he was on fourth and 23 and we're giving the ball right back to edrin with 0-1 trap once again and gets a nice little gain of 10 picking up the first down so two rushes for 26 yards that's a really good average but now it seems like we're going back to passing the ball because it is second and 10 and we're looking for Robbie once again. Nobody's on him. Great pass by Dan Marino all the way downfield. Perfectly led him for the touchdown as we go up 14 to 0 against my opponent. So now he started running the ball, being a lot more conservative, going down a deuce close, but he tries to pass on third and one, and we get the lurk there with Landon Collins. Try to hit a little stop and go. It's kind of hard to on next gen, though. But we get the ball back for our offense. We see Robbie Anderson has double me, but it's not going to matter anyways because his defense is just absolutely horrible. Leaves him wide open in the corner of the end zone, and my opponent has had enough. Up 20-0, to zero. Dan Marino 100% completion percent okay guys we're jumping into game two right here that was my opponent's top three so he's pretty good he has a rod at the helm so he was driving down the field on his first drive and he ends up running the ball right here to Alvin Kamara, who gets to the outside breaks off a tackle from Mills I was accidentally in the wrong defense that's why Mills was in and so my opponent ends up scoring a touchdown, and we get the ball back here, and let's see what we can do on offense. We're trying to go for a bomb to Robbie Anderson. That's why we double-teamed that guy. We're rolling out left with Dan Marino, seeing if we can make the throw. Perfect throw, but Robbie doesn't manage to get his feet in bounds, forcing us to a fourth and eight situation to where we throw a dot to Robbie. He tried to hit him with a spin move, but he gets the tackle on us. So now we move the chains, and we see... 
Edger and James wide open in the flats. His user messed up. We hit him with a little spin move. We get the broken tackle, but then he's right there to tackle us. So we're going back once again, trying to hit him with the bomb, and nothing's really open on second and 24. So Dan Marino uses his wheels to take off for getting close to a first down. Ended up on a third and six. We have really not too much open right here. We tried to get it off to Edger and James, which we couldn't. So we hurry up like an idiot and try to pick up fourth and 18. Let's see what we can do here. We're looking for Terry McLaurin because he is on that man beating route. We throw it even though he's looking right there and Terry McLaurin absolutely mosses his defender for the first down. Now we're going to look end zone here. We see Edger and James might be open. It's covered by his user. We roll out to the right. We tried to playmaker him up. Field it doesn't work. He goes upfield himself and he gets a pick on me to end the second half. We try to get a hit stick, but he doesn't really get much of a return after that. So nothing really happens before halftime. So going into the second half, we do start with ball. I've realized he's running a ton of man coverage, so we're running some man-beating routes with Robbie Anderson. As you can see, he is wide open. We throw a lot pass with Dan Marino, and that is an absolute dime to Robbie Anderson, who gets up a gain of about 45. We go back to the same play. We see him open once again. His user is lacking, but Robbie doesn't hold on to it because it's tipped by the defender which is unfortunate now he's opted to usering that route because he realized he can't stop it so we just audible him to a slant we throw a lob pass which is an absolute dime and we get down to the eight yard line let's make sure we don't throw any more picks so we're going to run the ball with edger and james get down to the three yard line or the four yard line and we're passing once again. He has to cover Edrin, which leaves the middle wide open for Santana Moss for the touchdown. This guy was super annoying. He's been running PA boot over the whole entire game. So we've been trying to stop it right here. We get a little bit of clamps, but he throws a good pass to Kamara, who somehow breaks all of them tackles and gets down to the five yard line. So of course, he's still coming out and trying to run PA boot over every play, the most OP play in this game but he doesn't see anybody open and we get Montez to come sack him which gives us a little bit of breathing room so we're trying to send some heat at him so he doesn't have as much time in the pocket so we decide to send six here let's see what he has open and pretty much nothing he throws to Alvin Kamara for a pickup of about two yards and he's stuck to a third down situation to where he has to convert if he wants to get in the end zone so let's see what we're looking at here he has Alan Kamara on the same route. He's looking for him. He has the delay fade open, but Troy Vincent and Sean Murphy Bunting combined for a nice tackle down at the two-yard line. Of course, he's hurrying up once again. He's probably going to run the same play because that's what he's been running the whole entire game, and let's see if we can get a stop. He sees Alan Kamara. It's not open. Good tackle by Landon Collins, and we get the stop. With two minutes to go, now we don't got to worry about anything. We can play this as conservative as we want because we only need three points to win this game so we decide to run the ball on first down and on second down but this time it's a little bit different than first down because edger and james breaks free and my opponent ain't even gonna let me finish this game bro look at this he was so mad i hope you guys did enjoy that gameplay of 99 day marino 98 robbie anderson which we did already take off the team because i'm gonna sell him i've decided on that but i think i am gonna keep dan marino and power him up i really liked how he played i liked his release i don't scramble a ton unless they force me out and i think i'm gonna power him up get protected on him and I think that's going to be, yeah, I think I'm going to keep Dan Marino and then I'm going to go use my 97 power up pass on Vernon Davis. That's what I think I'm going to do, y'all. But Edrin James is also a beast, as you guys saw. And I hope once again you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like and sub. It helps me out a lot more than you think. And we on the road to a thousand subs. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and peace out.